All right, and this is it. Today we're just replacing that rain head. So I'm going to show you how to replace a rain head. And we're also going to add in the down pipe just to connect to that to bring the water to the ground. So what seems to be happening is too much water is coming off the top roof, creating a little bit of a leak in the bottom one. So I'm going to show you how to install a rain head today. <coughs> so you can see why this one needs replacing. I'm just replacing like for like. So we're taking it off the wall and then the bits cut in the downpipe. I think the owner's done it because these trees were filling up all of the rain heads and they weren't working effectively. So, and you can see what happens, but that's the next door neighbor one. Okay, so the first job is to remove it. All right, so basically, this one's been tucked up behind the barge. And what we need to do with the rain here is it's fixed to the wall somehow. Yeah. It's been done with a few plugs and some rivets. Down pipe first, one times out of ten. That will be part of what's holding it up. All right, no need Yeah. And honestly, nine times out of ten, that's how easily they come off. All right, and there she is, the new one. So we just got to strip off the plastic, get it ready to go on, nice and big. It's got an overflow hole in the front. It doesn't have a hole in the back, but see what I mean? It's basically a big bucket with a pipe in the bottom. That is really what a rain head is. The idea is to catch the water as it's falling off the roof and divert it to where you want it to go. Okay, now we've stripped him of all the plastic. Now what we're gonna do is out of the back there, see that back section? We are literally gonna cut that shape. So it'll slide up as your water comes cascading off here, gets caught, Divert it into your downpipe, which will then take it away and down that pipe there. So, find the easiest way about that is I measured off the other down rain head. I know it wants to drop 90, so I'll hold it up and actually just mark that physically and then cut it. So there's one side and there's the other. Now I'm just going to cut a square 90 out. So you can see there I marked it. Just went down one side, down the other, off the two marks at the top. Just put my pencil on there and just went straight across. Okay, now we're just going to cut this section out. If you're wondering why I cut the bend at the top, because if I don't, it acts as what's called a strengthener and it won't allow it to bend, it just makes it easier to cut. See how much easier that is to cut when it bends? That's what we're looking for. Back here. There we 
There you go, beautiful. Just a matter of getting everything in the, out of the way, getting it all put in the right spot. Okay. Now, I am going to put just one plug in that. Sorry about that, uh, my phone overheats and then it shuts down, but uh, while it was cooling down I managed to paint the downpipe and we put on that clip. Okay now the clip's been plugged into the wall and we rivet it which holds up the rain head itself. Okay, we have a plug here which is holding it in at the moment. We've got it nice and snug under that box gutter, which you can see. So all we're going to do now, we can use a standard level. I'm just going to use this one. We're going to make sure that all the front edges are level. And then we're going to put a bunch of plugs in down the side and across the bottom in what is called the flange. We call this the flange. Okay, that'll make sure that it doesn't move so that when the water lands into it, it just all gets funneled in and down and into that downpipe hole. Which he seems pretty good at. So, when you and just so you know those are the plugs I'm using nice and long ones get shorter ones they're 6.5 mils 6 mil plugs into just a masonry hole So there you have it, there's all the plugs that I put in, so it's all holding in place, so hope this helps you if you have to put one in, they're really quite easy to put in, um, I will knock that around and just clean a few little spots up, um, but if you found this helpful please like and subscribe, 
I've got how to make downpipes and a bunch of other things on my channel. So until next time, give it a go.